Okay, it's very short, but it's there. Right there, that 28 seconds, and then we have a little breath for one second, a one second breath. And that shows up in the score. Right there, that's the breath. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in multiple dimensions part 65 motion in today's episode we have added breath as specific sections in the uh, in the composition and a breath is where there's nothing playing and we had two bars in there that we had not put any uh, Remember yesterday we were putting um, the polyphone notes to carry over across silences, but certain places we left it silent. And we went back and added three more places to have it be silent, and adding breath as an energy factor is a way to show the impact of silence. So that's been added all throughout here. We did continue working with Buddha's dilemma. The the, we added the rest of the shimmer line, and we're going to play that for you shortly. And then we also continued working with the animation, which you just saw a minute ago, this thing. And again, I think we were thinking about breathing from the last stream, because when the music is not playing, these two wheels, mandalas, are expanding in and out. One is the purple is going very slowly, and the blue is going more quickly. So they're like two complementary breathings in and out that help create those um, moray patterns uh, laying on top of each other. Then we began working with animating objects in a 3D platform. So in order for us to show this, we have to kind of, we had to build, in essence, a, a transparent um, ball cage so that the things uh, don't escape. <laughs> and and then we had to figure out a way to get inside and out of it so it's like that so for example this this orange thing is an animated balloon that uh, once you get it going reset the scripts on it give it a little nudge and oh, it takes off and it starts flying around with little random impulses like it. And that's why we have a, a ceiling because it, we lost one of our balloons earlier at the beginning. It, it floated up and away and, you know, up, up and away, like they say, and that was it. And then one of these balloons is kind of neutrally buoyant. This will just roll around and bounce and float. Um, and it'll eventually fall to the ground again, I think. And then one of these, this one should float to the top at a very slow rate. And that we're, we're still learning how this works, but it seems like it's very hard to edit inside of this glass box that we're in. You can laugh. We've been laughing at ourselves because this is such a fun, silly thing to do. And yet, you know, our goal is eventually to have objects in 3D that that will um, see now that we rolled it, it should start to float up and stay up. The red one, the blue one has a buoyancy that makes it want to float. The red one is supposed to be neutrally buoyant, and then the orange one is just antsy and runs around. And it will bump into the other balloons and ping against them and make them go places. So, and also it pings against us. So anyway, we spent a fair amount of time on that, and that was fun. So we even made a little ball pit, but blah, 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 blah. We'll have to show that to you later. So what we're going to do now is play the updated composition as it is now with the uh, the shimmer line 
because it's kind of cool, we think. And what we did was, well, we'll tell you later. Let's turn our mic off and play it for you. So that concludes today's stream. What we really like, A, <laughs> that clunking around in the background was kind of fun because the 3D orange object says, I want to play too. So they're accompanying us like a sort of random percussion. Um, we really like adding the shimmer line and we have some rules of thumb for how we added it. And, uh, but we think it's working out really great. So, our ideas for next time are uh, keep working with the composition, double check our shimmer line, um, maybe some adding some nuanced dynamics. Um, we're still uh, kind of, one of the things that is catching our interest is that when we added the breath, uh, they make a big dramatic drop here and then it, it suggests that there's five arcs five arcs because of the way we change tempo. And so catching on our mind is what are those five arcs? Because we actually have 11 sections. So double check the structure of partitions, update the chart, keep working with the animation, uh, make put down the new updated thing with the shimmer line, uh, maybe some nuanced colors and keep on working with animating the objects. So uh, a big shout out to Miss Cleo. Thanks for stopping by. Um, do come back, find out what happens in the next episode. Do take care and do keep on streaming. <laughs>